And welcome back. You are watching Unapologetically Black and Fast, a four day celebration of black joy and speed running. I am Moki Jones 10, and I'm excited to be hosted here tonight. We are live uh, through uh, the 19th. Uh, you can use exclamation point UBAF in Twitch chat to learn more about what we are doing tonight. Uh, we are, we have Nikki. Uh, we have Nikki coming up with Stray. Uh, so if you haven't seen Stray, um, just know, get your pss, 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 pss in chat because you will be using that a lot because there, you're going to see a lovely cat just running through a awesome environment here. And I'm excited to see Nikki uh, just destroy this game. So Nikki, take it away. Hey, I'm Nikki Games 11. And yeah. I'm a streamer here on Twitch and TikTok, and I like having conversations about human behavior, relationships, self-care, self-improvement, and I play a whole bunch of different games, primarily story-based, single-player, and racing games. That's me. All right, so are you guys ready for my countdown now? I believe we are ready, Nikki. Okay. <laughs> so let's see. So five, four, three, two, one, go. Nikki, we already have an important question in chat. Do you, do you have a cat? No, I don't. <laughs> I want one, but upon my light research, I saw that you have to, like, catify your house. And I'm like, uh, I don't know if I'm ready to do that yet. So, but I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I, I have one who is somewhere around here, but... Uh, was a little bit camera so I was gonna get him on before we started this Aww. run. But uh explain explain what's happening here. Uh, what what's going on in this tray right now? Yeah so right here I'm basically just breeding all my kitty friends, just going up to them, playing, you know, being cute. This is a sweet moment in the game, I'll tell you. It's a good way to start the game off. And then as I greet them, they all lay down on this cardboard box over here. I guess that's their communal bed. I guess since you're a cat, you really can't pet the cat, but I guess you can play with the other cats. Yeah. You can like, you know, snuggle up to them, headbutt them, purr at them, meow at them. Yeah, you can't like, had them. <laughs> See a nice cut scene with the cat. Oh, butterfly too. Nice. <laughs> it seems so peaceful, doesn't it? Yeah, it's just like you don't even know where you mm -hmm. are, really. So is that your cat at the end there, or, or what? No, nah, my cat's on the right side, looking back okay. at us. Yeah, you can't, well... On the console version, you can't change how your cat looks. You always play as the same cat. But I know on the PC version, they have mods where you can change what your cat looks like. So 
So now we get to the next one. Exploration. Uh, how was the movement tech in this game? Like, what get, well, first off, what got you in the speed running stray? So when I first, you know, got the game, I was like, all right, I'm going to play this casually. Let's see how this goes. I ended up absolutely loving it. But as I was playing through it casually, I was kind of noticing spots where I was like, ooh, like, I think this game would actually be a really decent speedrun game for me in particular because I don't really speedrun a lot of games. This is my second game that I've successfully successfully been able to speedrun. Um, so I noticed things about it as I was playing it casually. And the second I finished it casually, the first time I was like, yep, I'm going to speedrun this. And ever since then, I haven't done a casual playthrough since. <laughs> So just off the bat, I know it's like the movement seems very smooth, like very cat like. Yes. Yeah, it's not very jittery. I mean, you can do stuff like that, but I'm like forcing that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very, it's very smooth. And I think that that's one of the things I noticed about it. Because for me, if I'm going to speed run something, it needs to be pretty smooth going. I don't want something that's super like jittery and sharp and stuff but that's just me as a very casual speedrunner <laughs> and the other thing that i like about this game is you can't just jump when you want to like the game only lets you jump when you're supposed to so that's helpful. So you can't like accidentally jump and you know what I mean? Like it kind of like makes you jump when you're supposed to. Oh, this part's sad. What's happening to our I cat? know. <laughs> Even though I've seen this cutscene a thousand times, it's still sad. It's like why did he have to make that sound as he was falling? Why does he fall like that? Like, you know, like they didn't have to make this part that sad. <laughs> but on one hand, I kind of appreciate the fact that they did that because it makes you care about the character very quickly. Like it doesn't take you long to care about your cat character. Just sad. I, I can't. I can't. I know. Like. <laughs> oh. It's like, why would you do our, that? Our cat's gonna be fun, right? Say it again. Our cat's gonna be gonna be just fine. Yes, right? of course. Our cat's a strong one. Our cat's got this. And that's our first introduction to one of our main enemies in this game, the Zerks. They're awful. <laughs> I do not like them. See, wa watch how quick our cat recovers. Watch. Watch. And then he's fine. <laughs> oh, that's just about with any cat. Just they, they do that. They lick themselves. And they're just yep. fine. I love it. <laughs> so, so what is this section right here that, that we're going through right now? So right now we're going through, so we, as we saw, our cat fell down pretty a deep place. So basically right now what we're doing is we're exploring that place and you see like that sign right there, it says help. So there are signs all along this whole area that is like pointing you in a direction. So we're basically just following all those lights to figure out like, okay, wh why are these lights here? Like, I guess I'll follow it, you know? And we're kind of seeing how there's nothing really alive here. The only thing that's alive is the Zerks and us. I'm 
want to guess that we'll find out more about them uh, a bit later on in the game? Uh, yeah, because they... Gosh, is it later in the game? It might be in a couple minutes, honestly, because I have to run away from a whole bunch of them. And then I think, like, later on in the game, like, story-wise, it kind of describes what the Zerks are and why they're here and what their purpose, what their original purpose was, and then how it kind of got out of control. Yep, here they are right here. We're about to run from them in a couple minutes. And we're seeing it's only robots. There's no people down here. And the robots aren't even really alive. Are you saying in this entire place, you're being directed by something that might not even be in all essence flesh and mm -hmm. blood? Yep, all we see are lights pointing in certain directions. Help. It's like, okay, sure, we'll follow it. We don't know if they're a good person, a bad person. We don't know what they are, but we're following them lights to figure it out. <laughs> I run away from all these bouncy balls. <laughs> yes. The, so these are the Zerks. And I'm spamming the meow button right now because when they grab onto me like there... The meow button, at least for me, is circle, so I just spam circle when I run past them. So it, when they grab onto me, it's like, oh, I can get rid of them hopefully faster <laughs> than if I wasn't spamming. Yeah, they're a nightmare. There we go. There go those arrows again, talking about follow me. So we just keep it pushing. I guess it can't be a game with the camera without you pushing stuff off the edges, right? Right. Like sometimes they purposely make you do it, and then other times you just accidentally do it. <laughs> There are a lot of cat things you can do in this game. You can like um, scratch up the carpet. You can meow, obviously. Look, they're gonna make us push something right here. Yep, perfect. Yeah, there are a lot of cat things you can do in this game. It's cute. Another cat thing to do is get inside something and just play inside of yep. it. Yep. <laughs> Making up a racket <laughs> at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> oh. Here is a prime example right here. All that drama and noise for no reason. <laughs> I'll say if my cat was climbing scaffolding like this, I, I don't know what I would do with him. <laughs> I would I would have him be one of those like stunt cats in movies and stuff, so you can at least get paid for it. That's what I would do. Th that's mm -hmm. true. That's true. Because all you have to do is just train him how to do it, like you know how the people want him to do it now. But otherwise, I would be scared that he would like try to escape or something. <laughs> Are we still looking for the who's sending the message? Mm-hmm. We're about to find them in this chapter, though. The flat. So each time the the border or the the wording comes up, that's a new chapter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think this is chapter three or four. I wasn't paying attention to what it said. <laughs> 
We're just moving through mm -hmm. here already. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is a quick little cute game. I don't know if cute's the right word, but cute is like the word I use for everything. So I just call it cute. Oh, <laughs> uh, did you just walk on a keyboard? Yep. <laughs> That's another cat thing to do. Yes, it is. <laughs> you know, sit on it, lay on it, sleep on it while your owner's trying to type on it. You know, typical stuff. Or, you know, try and do some PV runs and not reset the the lot split like mine might have done once. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, this is why I can't have a cat. I won't be able to do my speed runs no more. I'll try to reset it. And now we found the person slash robot that was trying to get us to come over here and help. Uh, is our cat going to have a friend? Mm-hmm. It's going to be our BFF. Oh, it's so mm -hmm. cute, too. I love his eyes. I think that's my favorite part. Mm-hmm, typical cat. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why I won't have any drones in my house, because my cat will definitely do that while I'm trying to play. Yep, except your cat will probably keep going after it. <laughs> it wouldn't just stop like that. So his name is B12, and he helps us get things. He helps us. Well, we'll see what else he helps us with. I won't. I won't spoil it. But he helps us get things. So he put a suit on us now that he can live in. So he's not. Yeah. See, he just went into it. So he's not always flying with us. It's a cute little backpack. So, so question, do you, does this run have any kind of glitches or anything? So see that you're running no restrictions. Say it again. The, does your run have any kind of glitches or anything or any kind of uh, huge skips? Yes. In, uh, let's see, what chapter are we in right now? Uh, in the next chapter. In the next chapter, it's called The Slums. And then after that, it's the Rooftop Chapter. And then after that, it's The Slums 2 chapter so I, i'm gonna do something in the slum chapter that lets us skip over the rooftop chapter it's very complex all right so so chat be watching out for that whenever that's coming up <laughs> <laughs> and i can definitely talk us through what i'm doing as i do it too it took me forever to learn that strat or to memorize it because it's a lot of different steps you have to take I know on the PC version, they've figured out ways to skip even more chapters, but I don't know if on PS4 you can skip more chapters than this one. There might be a way, but I never took the time to learn it. <laughs> oh, and can't spin. <laughs> yep. I always have to do that there. <laughs> it, just, it just feels like it gives me good luck, you know? So I have to do it. Yep, so this is the slums chapter. So now we've happened upon a city, and as we can see, there was a robot right there in front of us. So we're like, ooh, what's going on here? There are a whole bunch of robots. And they're running away from a sweet, innocent cat. Mm -hmm. Yep, they are terrified of us. <laughs> to be fair, have you ever seen a cat with a backpack on, though? I know, that's kind of sus, because cats don't like mm -hmm. birds. They get very upset with that stuff. So. 
So he's the guardian. So he's going to try to figure out what we are. They have alarms going off and everything. So is he going right now? Yep, in robot language. <laughs> <laughs> So basically, he talked to me through B12, the robot that we have, and he basically said, oh, you're not a Zerk, because I think that the robots thought that we were a Zerk, and basically the Zerks, they, they, they try to attack the robots, so that's why they were running away from us, but now that they discovered we're not a Zerk, we're like, oh, okay, you're cool, we're cool with you. So now they're coming back out. And now starts the process of a skipping the rooftop chapter. Yeah, talk us through what what you're doing right now to, to get this huge gift. Yes, yeah, so right now I'm gonna get this dude to drop some paint. And then this dude is extra, extra mad about it. But you see, he opened that door to his store. So now I'm going to do a little tricky part. I'm going to go all the way down. No, I'm going to go all the way down. <laughs> And now I have to jump through this door that I'm not supposed to be able to open or go through, I should say. Let's see how long this takes. Oh, okay, I got it first try. There you go. First try, we love mm -hmm. to see it. <laughs> yes, we love first try. We put this code in. The answer to this code is those clock times over there. And now I'm knocking this over because I'm a cat. And of course, because this is a speed run, it takes three tries to get that box off of the ledge. <laughs> and now I have to jump back outside. Oh, first try on that. Okay. Period. Oh, first try <laughs> in, first try yes. out. Nice. <laughs> And now I'm taking the detergent because see, that's why we had that dude knock the paint over so he could open the door so I could get the detergent because <laughs> the robot over here, let me see if I can get the basketball in. Nope. The robot over here, he wants the detergent. So I give him that so he can give me those wires so I can run over here and talk to the home girl, cause she's gonna make a poncho. So I give her the wires. She makes- Wait, wait, wait. Grandma robot knitting. Do what? The grandma robot just got out some knitting needles and started yep. knitting. <laughs> and now the cat scratched on the door. <laughs> so now you see this robot, he's shivering, he's cold. So I'm going to give him the tracker first. And he's saying, I can't work on this, I'm cold. So then you give him the poncho. So he can fix the tracker for us. And now... I reload my checkpoint. Don't ask me why I reload a checkpoint. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just a thing you're supposed to do. <laughs> hey, sometimes you just gotta reload your last yep. checkpoint. <laughs> there is a time later in the run where I reload my checkpoint, and I know why I have to reload it, but I'll, I'll tell you all that later when we get there. We're, we're a little ways away from that part. So wait for the game to load. 
it's funny people people were saying like when this first when this game first came out they were saying how this how the ps4 is the worst console to run this game on because it has so many like glitches in it and it's slow to load i was like i don't care i, I love my ps4 I'm, I'm gonna run this on there <laughs> <laughs> and then now i have to jump back in here Oh, first try again. And the homeowner is in here. So the menu was off on the corner, but I basically gave gave him the tracker. Again, nice first try. Let's get on, on the on the door. Yes, thank you. All right, so he says that. And now I quit. Yay. <laughs> so now I quit the game. And then I select slums chat part two. Because the second we give him the tracker, I guess it starts part two. Um, like, you know, in the game's memory or whatever. So I restart it and then I end up I end up where you're supposed to be when you're supposed to be starting chapter two, if that makes sense. Like if you did rooftops, where they're about to put me now is where I would be starting slums part two. Does that make sense? It does. <laughs> It, it does make sense. Good. <laughs> See, like, I, I would have just come back from the rooftop chapter. So now I... I wouldn't say I continue on. Because I basically have to do all of that all over again. But it's going to be a little bit different this time around. We get a bucket again. Yay. So I have to meow at the dude. So basically nothing, nothing that I did saved, if that makes sense. So I have to have this dude knock the paint over again. Homie's going to come out mad again. <laughs> He's having a bad day. He has to clean this up twice. But instead of going downstairs this way, I'm going to go this way and say hi to another robot friend, Momo. I love Momo. I love his style. He's precious. I love him. Oh, Momo has style. Mm-hmm. I've seen people <laughs> cosplay as him, and I'm like, yes, I love this so much. That's definitely a fit I would like. To yes, it looks so cozy too. I have a little trench coat. So basically, right now he's on the computer talking to his friend. His friend. So I guess the main premise of the game is that the cat's trying to get back outside, right? Because we were outside when we were with our cat friends, and now we are in this underground city. So Momo was just talking to his friend that tried to go find the outside. We just got into communication with him. And that dude just walked past with Seamus, the owner of the house we were just in. So now we have to follow Momo. One thing I don't like about this game speedrun wise is I can't run ahead of Momo to like get to where we're going to. Like he would just stop and be like, where did you go? So I have to like stay with him. But once he hits his corner, I can go back in here and get the detergent and then meet him back outside. Like nothing happened. <laughs> So this is your auto scroller overrun. Um, 
when i'm walking with seamus i would say it's more of an auto scroller if i didn't have to get the detergent i would say yes this is my auto scroller this game actually doesn't have a lot of auto scrolling moments in it there is one that comes up in the next chapter i think but it literally lasts for like five seconds <laughs> Hey, Seamus. Here's a notebook. So now I have to do my code again and get the tracker again. Like I said, everything I did before didn't really save, if that makes sense. So I have to do all that over again. But it's just a little bit different this time because I'm with Momo. It's just so funny, like watching this cat just knock over a box. I know. Just like a real cat would. Yes. They did a very, they actually had quite a few cats that they would like mocap stuff with. So I think that's why it looks so good and feels so real with that. Plus, we've all seen cats do that. So. Oh, but of course. <laughs> Let's see if I can beat him. Oh, we beat him. There's no, he'll, he'll open the door for me, but normally I never beat him doing that. So, yay. <laughs> so I got my detergent. So I give it to this dude again. So we just do basically what we did in order to get the tracker fixed. So we're going to visit Grandma Robot again. She's going to knit us the poncho again. So we can bring it to Elliot. I wish we could wear the poncho. I feel poncho. like I've seen all this before. Say it again. <laughs> I feel like I've seen all this before. Really? I don't remember seeing this. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> uh. It's nice because I don't have to think that hard about it, you know? <laughs> Let's give you that. Uh-huh. I'm just trying to understand how a robot is cold. That's what I'm trying to understand. I, you know, when you first said it, I was thinking the same thing. That the robot's shivering and cold. Yeah. It's fun. Then we go back. I think the door should be open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The door's open. Yup, I got it fixed. To set the tracker, he sees it's fixed. He's like, OMG. But yeah, doing this process is so much better than having any part to do at rooftops. Because when I first played this game casually, I was like, this is the worst, not worst chapters and like it's badly made, but like this is the worst chapter for me to play. I never want to play this again. And I don't, I think I've played the rooftop chapter once since I've learned this strat. I avoid that chapter like the plague. So we've completed the whole little strat. So now we carry on as if we did everything correctly. I so it's when you walk through the paint, there's paw prints that, that follow mm -hmm. you. I, I love when games have those little details like that, especially uh, um, an indie game like this. Those little details matter. Oh wait, I have to do this. Let me see if I can catch it. Ugh, don't get stuck. No, don't get stuck. See, look, and he loves me. It's cute. <laughs> oh. I will absolutely lose time every time just do that. <laughs> so worth it. All right, so where are you heading now? Now, so basically Seamus used the tracker 
to uh track his dad down essentially i don't i'm a little fuzzy on the story right here but basically we're trying to figure out where seamus's dad is and his dad's name is doc so it's leading us down this way but these little things on the wall are a hint that the zerks are around and like i said before the robots get eaten up by the zerks so they ain't trying to go but they know i can get away with it so he's gonna open this door and it's just gonna be me going oh yeah it's because i'm fast that's why i can get away from them so the zerks eat the robots i think because if i remember correctly i think the zerks were created to basically eat trash but then eventually they wanted to start eating like metal like the robots and the robots can't move as fast as a cat so you know they're gonna be more easily caught they still try to eat the cat too but i can get away easier so now this is another section where we're running from the zerks the Seamus isn't following us anymore. He left us, or we left him, I should say. It's fun trying to like juke them. I enjoy it. No, I failed. <laughs> I think you get a trophy no. if you get through this one section without getting bitten, but I can't remember anymore. I'm gonna say this is possibly the, the cutest chase scene I've ever seen. <laughs> it is cute. And then you have the meowing in the background too. It's wonderful. <laughs> See, he here's my auto scroller right here. Here it is. I don't do nothing. <laughs> Oh. See, he just gets up like, oh, whatever. <laughs> I mean, he limps a little bit, but you know. Our, our, our cat friend would be fine, right? Yep, he licked his leg and look, he's fine now. <laughs> oh. Very realistic. So is this a different slum or is this so so what is this area? This area I would say it's not the slums. I would say it's on the outskirts of the slums. But it's where Doc is. This is Seamus' father. Looks like Doc Brown from uh, Back to the Future, too. Yep, and he is definitely based on him. He literally says 1.21 gigawatts at one point. And then he says something else, I feel. I can't remember now. And then I don't know if you notice with Seamus, he's wearing a red vest like Marty does. I did notice mm -hmm. that. Yeah. I, did, I didn't know if it was just an aesthetic choice or what. Nope, I think they're definitely a nod towards Doc and Marty, which I love because I absolutely love Back to the Future. Yeah, this game has a lot of cute nods towards like movies or games. I know another nod they have is towards Skyrim. Somebody says, I took an arrow to the knee. And I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so Doc has an item that kills the Zerks. He zaps them with light and it kills them. So now I have to get back to him because as we can see, the Zerks are out again. So he has to help me get back. So Doc is a little finicky with this light though. Okay. 
So I do that move a little bit. Oh, don't kill me. Because sometimes he won't catch me with the light. It's very rare where you could just run past and get away with it. You kind of need his help. So I just run around in a circle and hope that he catches me. <laughs> so now he's fixing the light thing onto B12, the robot that we're with, so he can shine the light to kill the Zerks. Our little buddy just got upgraded. Mm -hmm. He got an upgrade. Oh, yeah. Love how rusty Doc's legs are. It's just the little details. <laughs> there are so many details I've noticed just in the in the little time that I've seen this game. <laughs> yes. It, it, it has a lot. I... I really, really appreciate this game. Oh. But who would think to put a cat in a world that looks like this? Especially with the story that this game has. You would never think, oh, let's put a cat in here, you know? So I appreciate the fact that they did that. There's no power, so he needs me to get the power. Cut back on. So basically what we're doing now is we're trying to get back to the slums so Doc can be reunited with Seamus. So we have to help him. This part is sketchy. This part took me like 30 minutes to pass when I was playing it casually. So let's see how I do today. <laughs> Looks like surely nothing catastrophic will happen <laughs> while trying to reunite them, right? Do what? Surely nothing catastrophic oh will my happen God. while trying to reunite them. No, of course not. Never. <laughs> oh God. Oh, this is not good. I might die right here. Go, cat, go. Go, cat, go. Woo! Okay. No, get off me. See, the, the little light thing has a timer on it, essentially, so I can't just zap it constantly. We didn't die. That's always my goal right here is not to die. I don't care how fast I do it. I just don't want to die. <laughs> Yeah, I heard that taking a death is a time loss, so good job. Thanks. <laughs> I, but you know what's funny about this game? Other than the load time, there are some sections where if you die, when you come back, like the way the checkpoint is set up, the section is going to be way easier to do. This section is not one of those sections, so it doesn't help to do that. But in a chapter, in, in the next chapter, actually... There's a section where I have difficulty, but when I die there, I'm like, oh, it doesn't matter. It's actually going to be easier for me to do this this time around. <laughs> so I don't worry about it, you know. No. Yes, so cute. Aww. So this might be a story question, but how do they know that they're related? Like, how how is that? I don't know. Actually, that's a good question. I don't know. I really, what I need to do on my own time at some point is I really need to like replay the game and like 
pay attention to the story because I haven't done that in years now, ever since my first playthrough. I don't know if they know it through like how the humans programmed them or if it's just something they know that they're related with each other. That's a good question. I like that. <laughs> So I see you taking the gondola ride now. Yep, very fancy. Down this beautiful, clean, crisp blue river, you know? No trash, just clean. <laughs> oh, yeah, very clean. <laughs> see straight through the water, right? Yep. <laughs> uh, th this part is very peaceful because this chapter that we're in now, the sewers. Mm -mm. I think this chapter's probably my least favorite because it's so difficult. Yeah, the, the, this, this, this chapter is no joke. <laughs> so I, I appreciate the peaceful ride right here that we get. Every game needs some kind of ride like this, I think. Yep. It's a nice mind mental break. It's like, oh, okay, I can do this. You know, you do some self-talk. I can do this. I got this. This is easy. <laughs> Keep your hands around. Yes. Especially that one. My hands be cramping up. All right, let me get my flashlight ready. Okay. Oh, get away from me. Ooh. It's so gross. They like explode like a pimple or something. <laughs> the Zerks are nasty. So you're having to, to go through and protect the gondola uh, driver from the, the Zerks. Yup. Yep, because this is Momo, and we're taking him. We're taking him to his friend that we were talking to on the computer before in the cafe. So we have to attack the Zerks because we have the light, and he has no way to protect himself. So not only is this an auto-scroller, it's an escort mission auto-scroller. Yep. But at least with this, he can't get far away from me to the point where like, you know what I mean? Or like he'd have to stop and be like, where did you go? He's leading the pace this time. What's happening? I think it broke. Let's see what he says. Oh, it's broken. We can only open it manually. So he has to go open it manually. Oh, he grabs a chain. I didn't even notice that's what he did. Yep, so he basically tells me, hey, I can't come with you. You have to go by yourself now. Oh, goodness. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how you would get through that anyway. Right. Because <laughs> the cat definitely can't hold up that uh, chain long enough for him to get through. Yep, so he's chilling there by himself. I think he... Yeah, I think he goes back eventually. I think he realizes, oh, uh, there's no point in waiting. Let me just go back home. Poor Momo. So now it's basically just 
running through the Zerks. Stress city. <laughs> you gotta hit those, don't you? Yeah, I have no choice. Trust me, if there is a way. Oh, I would have figured that out through through trial and error. Ooh, get away from me. Yeah, I don't think there's any way for you to go that you wouldn't have to run through at least some of these. Ooh, get off me. Don't slow me down. Okay, are there circs on the walls or are those eyeballs? Those are eyeballs. But I, oh. I feel like they're um, modeled after the Zerk's eyeball. Like, they're one eyeball. But yeah, those are just huge, giant eyeballs staring at us. Ugh. All right, this is that section I was talking about where if I die, it's not that big of a deal. It's actually easier, but I'm going to try not to die. We're going to try. Let's see what happens. Well, first try, we got to get this. Yes. Oh, get off me. No, get off me. No, don't ruin my chances. Ugh. Yucky, yucky, yucky. Did we do it? Did I remember to activate the other one? Okay, yay, we did it. <laughs> First try. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yay. <laughs> Yeah, look at these giant eyes. Th this cutscene makes me think of Resident Evil or something like uh, the Evil Within, stuff like that. Cause it's just creepy. We we've had a lot of Resident Evil this weekend. I can I can tell you this looks like Resident Evil. Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> uh, like come on, let's go back to the cuteness. Like we don't need to see all this. Ooh, so the kitty's getting attacked. So B twelve is helping us. This cat really does go through it. I just now thought about it. <laughs> this cat be going through it. Uh-oh, so B12, he used all of his powers and now he's kind of broken. So now we got to carry him out. We no longer have the light to kill the Zerks. So we're just running for our lives now. I knew that was going to happen. It's weird. Sometimes when I run through that little corridor, sometimes I'll get hit and other times I won't. It's it's weird. Ooh. Fuck like if you had an, an actual jump button that might help a little bit. I think so too. Ooh, no. We're almost there, B12. We got this. We escaped. Now we're just staring at him, and here goes another cat thing, just patting stuff. With our paw, and he's okay. Yeah, see, the cat makes everything better. Mm -hmm. Just having a cat makes everything better, unless they know. Walk on your keyboard, scratch your furniture, uh, <laughs> all this other stuff. But otherwise, they're great. <laughs> oh, gosh. They're not jerks like the Zerk. I know that. Yeah. At least this cat's definitely not a jerk. This is the sweetest kitty ever. That's what I say. And this chapter, I would say, is the most beautiful chapter of the game. And I really like that they put it after the sewer because I think the sewer is the nastiest looking chapter of the game. And it's difficult. This chapter is just, a, um, I wouldn't say it's an auto scroller, but it's basically just platforming. You really don't have to think very hard when you're doing it. So B12 just discovered that he was a human. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. Yep, you just discovered he was a human. Because what we're what we're looking for, or something you can look for and collect in this game, are memories. 
and it's helping B12 like remember stuff. So he just saw a memory that made him realize he was a human being. But I don't remember a lot about that part of the story. <laughs> it's a shame, I know. So this, this is the friend that Momo was talking to on the computer. So we found his friend. So basically the friend just uh, gave us a piece of paper or a note or something for another friend of Momo's named Clementine who lives in Midtown, which is the next chapter. So now we're on our way to meet Clementine. And then so, so we the have character. the fruit friends with Momo. It's Japanese for peach, and we have Clementine. And what's that? The friend that we just met. What, did they have a fruit name? Their name. Oh, their name is long. If it is a fruit, I'm not aware of it. I'm trying to think of the other. There's another friend. It's Momo, Doc. Clementine, and then that dude. I forget his name. Dang, now I want to look that up. <laughs> it, it, like, the two of them have fruit names, like, because Momo, I think, is chef. Wait, yeah, Momo is Japanese for princess. Oh. Or for peach, I think. Chat might correct me. <laughs> I did not know that. That's a cool little detail if they did end up doing that. I'd be shocked if they didn't make that a thing. Yeah, the robot we just talked to, he has a long name that I don't remember. And then obviously Clementine is a fruit. So this is Midtown. I love Midtown. I think it's very, very pretty. I like this chapter. It has a lot of, it has a variety of activities you end up doing. Just in the speedrun route, let alone the actual like story of the game. So I like it. So right now I'm running to Clementine's apartment to give her the note. No. I love her outfit. It's like my favorite thing ever. I have to do a cat thing real quick. Let me go talk to her. Jack saying the other robot's name, they think it's Althazar. That sounds right. I know there's like a czar in his name. <laughs> Is that a fruit? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, unless it's like some kind of, I don't know. <laughs> maybe it's a man-made fruit, maybe. We're gonna pretend, because I like this theory. So now I'm just doing a whole bunch of tasks because Clementine gave me a note to get help from this dude named Blazer. So now I'm just doing the tasks that are required to get his help. I have to ask, does Blazer either have a jacket or is surrounded by fire? Oh! I think he has a jacket on. Oh, I can't remember now. We'll see him in a couple minutes. We'll see. I know he doesn't have fire around him. I think he's wearing a jacket. That's our first item we need to give to him. And now we get to jump in a box, which is totally a cat thing. <laughs> and now we wait for that dude to walk up to us. He's drunk on the job. Tisk tisk. 
This dude's mad at him, look. I'm pissed. Looking at his sleeve. Why are you late? Mm-hmm. He's sweating. Mmm. <laughs> and the reason we have to sit in the box and wait is because this man in the corner, if we as just a cat try to get in here, he like shoes us away so we can't make it in here. So we have to come in here in a box. He is sweating hard. Poor thing. So now we have everything we need. Okay, let's see if Blazer has a jacket on. This is Blazer right here. Yeah, he has a jacket on. So he wants to get into the little um, factory. So we're gonna give him the jacket and the helmet that we just stole. I mean, borrowed. Yeah, cat can't steal, they only borrow. Uh, we, we catnapped him. Yes. <laughs> and now we're going to sneak into the factory. Ooh. And then we're going to be introduced to our new enemy that's even worse than the Zerks, if you can believe that. I, I mean, swarms of <laughs> little things are trying to, you know, eat me. I, I don't want to deal with <laughs> so whatever's worse than that i don't want to deal with right <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're pretty awful they're not that bad in general here we'll see him right now it's him he's a sentinel they're not that bad in general the issue with them is that they will one shot kill you so if they just hit you once and you're done for, versus the Zerks, you know, I mean, they can bite you up a little bit and you're fine. But these Sentinels are no joke. Wait, you got robots chasing you now? Mm-hmm. They, they're like the robot police in this city, Midtown. They don't exist in the slums. Oh. Oh, don't hit me. Hearing them wind up is like so terrifying. It's awful. <laughs> Ooh, stay away from me. No, 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 don't come over here. See, he came over here, which is not good. Please go back to where you came from. Leave me alone, everything's fine. Yep, everything's fine, sir. Everything's cool. Yeah. Thank you. Nothing to see here. <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> one time I didn't notice that one had followed me over here and I came out of the barrel and he came in this room and he was terrorizing me the whole time while I was trying to do this puzzle, which is not helpful at all. <laughs> it was terrible. So I'm very conscious of if one is following me or not. Let's start that. I couldn't figure out this puzzle when I played this game casually. I had to look it up on YouTube. I just could not get it. I'm so upset. But that's why YouTube exists. YouTube is a great resource. Speaking of YouTube, uh, if you miss any of this, the show during the or event, you can check out the VODs on YouTube at youtube.com slash game some quick. So uh, everything that's been done so far and what's going to happen later on, it's on YouTube. <laughs> Yay, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I, I haven't said this yet, but this game is super colorful, too. It's really colorful. And I, I appreciate the fact that it's colorful in a way that's not... I don't want to say cozy, 
but you know it's not like bright and pretty and peaceful it's like bright but in a more realistic way which i appreciate because i think a lot of people when they saw that this game was coming out they assumed it would be a cozy cat game this game came out i was like nope i'm not cozy at all <laughs> <laughs> uh i was like dang okay yeah the colors are very vibrant okay i need you to turn around sir because if you catch me this is a you you do not want him to catch you right there because he will stay there by the window and he will automatically just get you so you you don't want him to catch you So now what happened is Clementine is no longer here, but they left us a note with hints around their apartment. Something happened to her because she's wanted, like the cops want Clementine. So now we're going around her apartment and finding all the clues so we can figure out where she went. No, I want you to go up. Is that a lava lamp? Yes. I love it. I'm jealous. So now we figured out, okay, she's at the nightclub. So now we get to go to the nightclub. All right, is that robot right here? Uh, please don't turn around. Okay. Now we go to the nightclub. Ooh, we're gonna dance and have a good time. All right, so what is your favorite chapter in this game and have we come to it already? Oh, okay. So it's a tie between the slums and Midtown. So slums is where I did all those things to skip over the rooftops. And I basically was repeating what I was doing. And then this is Midtown. I like both of them because they're both colorful. And I like the things that I do for the run in them. I don't know if I can figure out which one I like more than the other, though. I think if I had to choose which one I like looking at wise, I would say Midtown. If I had to choose which one I like playing through more, I would say the slums. I say both look good in the slum. The slums, what I saw of it twice. Oh, uh, <laughs> look very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, we're pushing buttons, cat stuff, you know, knocking over glasses, you know, typical stuff. And when we came in here, the second we got in here, I reset or I restarted per my last checkpoint. Because if you do not do that when you're in this nightclub, the game will crash on you. Because I definitely didn't have that happen to me when I was on a PB run. I definitely didn't have that happen to me. Uh-uh. <laughs> Never. <sighs> so Blazer tricked us. He has captured Clementine right here. And he's about to turn us in to the Sentinels. Look, he's talking about some business is money, sir. With his chains. So the Sentinels are going to get us. That ain't right. Right. Like Blazer Blazer turned us in. He wasn't helping us at all. Rude. <laughs> so now we're in jail and we need to escape. You show her backpack open? Nope, so they separated me, Clementine, and B12. So I am all by myself now. It's funny looking at the cat without B12 on him. 
Feels like something's missing. Why are they so mean to this cat? I know, but look at this robot. He's just chilling, chilling, chilling. He sees me and now he's coming after me. Like, sir, I did nothing to you. I'm just chilling out of my business. So we found Clementine, but you know, we can't understand her because we use B12 basically as translation, but we see her pointing, you see the key. You can basically infer, okay, she wants us to get the key. But I like that little detail where it's like, oh, we can't understand what she's saying anymore. I'm not stuck right here, am I? Okay, good. <laughs> Come on, kitty cat, you can do it. Oh no, am I having that glitch? Ooh, so there's a glitch right here that happens to me. Rarely, actually where I can't get out of this. It just keeps glitching me back up there. So I have to reload to my last checkpoint. Oh. Oh. That cat did not want to get down. <laughs> no. It was like, nope, I want to stay here up on the bars. He wants to be like his best friend, Clementine. That's what it is. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I had that happen to me once. When I was on a really good run, and I was so upset. I was like, really? I'm having a great run. Why is this happening? So this is the this is only the second time it has happened. But this game, I would say, has really good checkpoints. So it's not too big of a deal. It's just, you know, an inconvenient. Alright, let, let, let's go through without mashing any buttons. Because... I, I don't know, but I think me mashing buttons while I'm trying to go through is what triggers that, but I'm not sure. That's just my guess. There we go. And we're good. There we go. Clementine is free. Yes, Clementine is free. So now we get to escape. Hopefully. We. It's too much open space. You have to do something silly, you know? Oh, yeah. That's so cute. <laughs> you would think it would make Clementine speed up a little bit. Right. Like, she'd be like, oh, okay. Like, I need to go fast. Nope. She just keeps taking her time sneaking. So now we see where B12 is. He's caught up. They got him in a cage, too. And I like this scene because it's like, again, we don't understand each other because B12's not here to translate. But Clementine sees B12 caught up. And it's like she understands, OK, we need to go get him, you know? They got him, man. b locked up. <laughs> It's so sad. And he is locked up, locked up, too. Not just, yo, in a cage like me and Clementine were, like... You got laser beams and stuff by him. This section okay. right here used to cause me nightmares, but now I just take my time with it because it doesn't matter how fast I do it. So more stealth. Yeah, 
the section's definitely stealth. Stealth, but like in a fast way, if that makes sense. Because I'm running instead of like walking. All right, let me wait. I guess I could have ran down, whatever. I'm taking my time. I'm not going to rush and stress myself out. You do not want these lasers to hit you. You don't want that light to hit you either. Ooh, don't come peek over here. Okay. All right, let's see if I remember how to do this little strat. Because sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. Oh, I did not do it. Nope, didn't happen. So you're able to run during that cut scene if you press the right buttons. I did not press the right buttons, but it's okay. Because we still gonna do it. So their their lights are yellow now, so they're on high alert. Ooh, yay, yay, yay. Okay. Are they moving faster too? Um, I don't know if they move faster when they're when they have yellow lights. They probably are moving faster. Uh, do you turn around? I guess it doesn't matter. Ooh, please don't do it. <clears throat> okay. And we did it! Yay! We rescued B12. We're all reunited again. Aww. Woohoo! <laughs> so do we have the escape sequence now? Mm, yes. We're getting there. There's there's a section after this little part where we're we're almost free. I would say we're like two main rooms away from escape, but we're getting there now. We're getting there. I'm shocked none of them heard that. Maybe they don't have ears. I don't know. No, they do have ears because they, the sentinels react when I meow at them. So I don't know how they didn't hear that. So this section. I'm so just am oh, go ahead. So just amazed at how this cat knows to do all of this stuff. I know this cat is so smart. I love it. Oh, I don't like where I'm standing. Ugh. Okay. Okay, there we go. It's always fun watching people casually play this section of the game because a lot of them don't realize you can run in the bars at the bottom so they'll try to keep the door open while they're it, it's it's always so interesting because it's like a a phenomenon that i see a lot of people do and i'm like wow that's so interesting i'm i'm weird about that i i like studying human behavior so i'm weird about that <laughs> it's fascinating though i don't like it when he's all the way over here I'd like him to turn around. Ooh, he saw me. Ooh. Okay. Thanks for turning around, Boo. I appreciate you. Ooh, did he see me? I don't think he saw me. Ugh. Oh, yeah, he didn't see me. I knew it. Okay. So I need to get him back in here. So, sir, I need you to come over here. I don't know if that other... Robot dude is going to come through, though. Ugh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Did he get in there? Is he in there? Yay, we did it. Woohoo. <laughs> we just stare here amazed at this. <laughs> <laughs> I think you impressed Chap us showing them that you can run through those bars. <laughs> Yep. Oh my God. Yeah. It's, it makes this section so much easier. It's still not easy to do this section, but it's easier once you know, oh, I could just run underneath that. So much easier to do that section. Ooh. 
So we're almost, we're almost out. We just need to open that last little door right there. How lucky do you get where they left the keys in the door like that? Now, that, that is some luck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will say that. <laughs> all right, so we open the door. Woot, woot. But you hear all the drama that's going on. So now the Sentinels are aware of that. And they're coming to get us. Oh, please don't get me. Okay, thank you. Can I get this little strat right here? Nope, didn't get it. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Oh, I knew he was going to get me. I knew he was going to do it. Oh, no. <laughs> I felt it. I was like, I haven't gotten killed by the Sentinels yet. They're going to get me here. <laughs> oh. How could you do that to a cat? I know. Sentinels now. Just cute, just running around looking cute. Like, why are you mad about it, you know? Like, I'm sorry you can't be as cute as the kitty, Mr. Sentinel. Oh, he's gonna get me, Ugh. Okay. Okay, there we go. See, okay, so I died on purpose so I could show y'all <laughs> the little <laughs> strat that you can do right there. So if you hit those corners fast enough, you can jump on the car before you even get to the sequence where the sentinels are shooting at you but i probably got it like 30 percent of the time that's not common for me i don't know how to consistently get that but it's helpful when you do no clementine no so clementine is separated from us clementine said she has to distract them from us she gave us the keys to start the uh, the subway. No. Oh no, Clementine, no. I know. It is sad. <laughs> uh, at least Clementine has a vehicle and they're not running by foot. So that's helpful. So now we have the battery to start up the whole subway system right here. So we put that in. And we also have the key to start the subway train. So we can keep it moving. Oh, see, that looks like a really small battery to operate this entire section here. I know. Hey, but... I I forget what year this game is based in. I don't remember if they say, but it's the future. So maybe batteries just keep getting smaller. Who knows, you know? Now we're riding the train. Mm -hmm. I like this section. It reminds me of um, the Hey Arnold episode where they're talking about the haunted train or subway i think it's a haunted subway or something it reminds me of that so it makes me happy <laughs> i was say i have not thought of that episode <laughs> i know that feels like one of the more rare episodes that they would show i need to watch it though so look how pretty and clean it is here compared to everything else we've been going through Looks almost sterile. Mm-hmm. Does look sterile. So 
So we're like at the top top of the city. Um. Where we can open the roof. And it can be outside. Run, 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 run. Look, we're scratching up some electronics, you know, cat stuff, whatever. It's chill. <laughs> yep, so now we're in the control room. Everything is controlled. I think B12 is talking about how he remembers being in here. I think that's what he was just saying. Since he was a person after all. So now we gotta figure out how to turn everything on so we can open up the roof. So we can go outside. You got this, right? Surely, surely nothing's gonna come for us, right? Yeah, of course not. I mean, why would they come for us now, you know? <laughs> so now we have to turn on all these computers. Cute little puzzle. Yay, we did it. It's, it's the puzzle literally just simply on the keyboards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we turn that on. Uh-oh, it's locked. That just ain't right. Why, why are you locking us out <laughs> for in or whatever? Right, like just let it work, you know? There's no need to do all this. Well, it's because we need to do cat stuff. That's why. So now we're hacking in. Well, B12 is hacking into the system. Oh, but he got shocked. Oh, so now they know we're in here. Uh oh. Uh. We got to keep it pushing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh goodness, Beach Bob is not having a good time. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, he's not. He's smoking now, poor dear. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love how we're scratching the thing up, sparks are flying, and nothing happens to us. I just now clock that. <laughs> oh. 12, no. Gotta carry him. He can't even fly anymore. There we go. You at least go back in our backpack? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why he didn't try to do that. That's a good point. Maybe that would have taken too much power from him to do. B12, what you doing? <laughs> Man, no, B12. It's sad. It's just going to lay next to him. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Makes it even worse. But look, we did it. The roof is opening. <laughs> <laughs> At least it wasn't in vain, you know. And the Zerks can't be in sunlight, so they're gone now. That's good. That's good to see.
see if Momo's okay, Guardian's okay, all the robot friends, Doc, Seamus, Clementine. I guess the Sentinels don't like sunlight. I, I don't know if the game explains that, but they fall when the sunlight hits them. So that's a good thing. Clementine's okay. Our friends are good. Yes. Yep. The B12 has to stay here. And we are running, sprinting. It's always so interesting being at this part of the game, like during a run. Because on one hand, you're like, okay, I'm almost there. I'm almost done with the game. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I need this cutscene to go by fast. But then you're like, you want to be sad for B12, but it's like you don't have time to be sad. <laughs> it's interesting. And we're gonna be done in three, two, one. Finished! Woohoo! GG. <laughs> Thanks. Great run. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Nick, you got any uh any thoughts on the run, closing the remarks, anything like that? Shout outs. <laughs> I think the run went great. I mean, the only major issue we ran into was when I got caught up in jail. <laughs> I got caught up in jail um <laughs> in the bars where I had to reset to my last checkpoint. But other than that, it was a really good run. Um, shout outs. Uh, I want to shout out my community, Cuties of Chaos. Um, that's like my, my community. Uh, I want to shout out the Twitch Black Guild and the Twitch Women's Guild. Um, big creators. Uh, I'm forgetting a whole bunch of people. Bunny Gang. Hello. I'm wearing Bunny Gang shirt. Um, and all the amazing runners in this event. Yes. Those are my shout outs. <laughs> all right again gg thank you for that run we we enjoyed it can we get some more in the chat for that run please <laughs> oh thank you i appreciate it thank you for having me it's always a joy getting to run this game it's always a joy uh yes and, and thank you so much for that run uh we are Getting ready for a Sonic block, actually. Uh, we have nice. a Sonic CD and Sonic 3 run by Rockstar Lexi and None to or None to One, respectively. And so we will be back in just a moment. Remember, if you do miss anything, this will be on YouTube. And if you are watching on YouTube, be sure to press that like button on this video and subscribe to the channel. And uh, we will be back in just a minute while we are in getting these runs set up. <laughs> 